This important news just in to CNN. The White House says President Biden spoke with the Ukrainian President Zelensky just now for about 30 minutes. Zelensky also discussing that call in a tweet saying he spoke to the president about Russia's sanctions and saying we must stop the aggressor. That would be Putin as soon as possible. CNN's Matthew Chance also had a chance today to sit down with President Zelensky. Matthew Chance joins us now live. Uh, Matthew, a conversation at a fascinating moment. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, it, we, we managed to get to uh, see Vladimir Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, in his bunker in a presidential uh, building, a presidential compound in the center of the Ukrainian capital, as Russian forces, of course, gather around the outskirts of Kiev, poised to carry out, or the anticipation is they could carry out some kind of you know, large-scale uh, strike and attempt to, to take the city. It's um, you know, incredible, really, that, uh, that, that Zelensky is still in the city. He's surrounded by military forces. Um, we had to be taken into in, in, in separate cars. We had to change cars to a sort of secret location when we were taken down into the basement of a building covered in, in sandbags. Uh, we led through dark corridors until we got to the location uh, where we were told to wait and where President Zelensky finally arrived when he did come. He was dressed in military fatigues, in, in, in green khaki. Um, he looked very tired. He looked like he hadn't shaved. His eyes were red. looked like he hadn't slept. He's obviously under a great deal of stress. And we spoke about about a range of issues as well, uh, not least the fact that he has been engaged or his delegates have been engaged with Russia over the past couple of days in the attempt to find out whether there is any prospect of this you know, conflict across the country being solved by you know, diplomatic means. Take a listen to what he had to say. You sent your delegation to meet the Russians for talks. Yeah. Did anything substantial come out of that? Is there any hope? as the world watches for diplomacy? They decided, they decided uh, to begin to speak about this situation. And I wanted, I, I really wanted, and I asked them, so you have to speak, first of all, you, everybody has to stop, stop fighting, and to go to that point from where it, it was beginning, yeah. yes, it began five, six, today six, six days ago. Yes. I think th there are principal things you can do it, and that is a very important moment. If you'll do this, and if those side is ready, it means that they are ready for the peace. If they don't ready, it means that you're just, you know, just... Mm, how, Wasting, your time. wasting time. And do you think you're wasting your time or do you think they're ready? We'll see. Right, well, President, but President Zelensky also uh, said that he was uh, anticipating the uh, State of the Union speech by President Biden, as many, many Americans are, of course, and many people around the world, which is going to focus predominantly on Ukraine. And he said he wanted to hear in that Biden speech um, some kind of uh, detail or some kind of explanation about why and how the war in Ukraine was about freedom and democracy. It wasn't just about a war in Ukraine. It was about something that affected everybody, including uh, all Americans. And he said that that's something that he wanted that President Biden and to put across as strongly as possible in the State of the Union speech tonight. Uh, Matthew, obviously he has substantive demands. He would like the European Union to invite Ukraine and he hopes the West, including the United States, can send him uh, more military help, uh, we weapons, ammunition as quickly as possible. Uh, but does he, understand, uh, does he understand the personal symbol he has become, the power of his own example and how that has helped uh, unite the West against Putin? That's funny because I, I asked him that question specifically and I said, do you think you've become an icon of, of Ukraine? And, he, and he, he, he rejected that entirely, saying no, that, that's, not, that's not what's happened here. What he does think, though, he says, is that you know, Ukraine has become iconic in its stance against, um, against Russia, in its stance against that, that, that violence that it's been inflicted with. And he says that people in the United States and in Europe have recognised finally, or are recognising finally, you know, what an important country and what a symbolically you know, um, important country Ukraine really is, sitting as it does you know, um, uh, on, that, uh, on that sort of crossroads, on that junction between Russia and the West. Matthew Chance, a very important conversation, uh, part of great reporting at a very important moment. Appreciate it very much. Continue to follow this story.